back here again, second night in a row. Big win comes down the stretch. You know, just talk about the win and the emotions you're feeling right now with your team. Wow, what a win! Um, again, I'm, I'm, you know, first of all, I like to you know give Johns Hopkins a lot of credit too. Um, the gracious host, um, the coach Josh, uh, the head coach has been a good friend of mine for a number of years, and. Um, they had a great game plan, they have a great team, they're one of the top teams in the country, and hats off to them for playing a great game. Uh, they gave us all we wanted. And for us tonight, um, again, defense uh, was our calling card. You, we held them to 54 points tonight. Uh, offensively, the first half, um, and they, Johns Hopkins had a lot to do with it, but I think they held us 30-something uh, percent shooting from the field. I think we shot 28% from three. Um, so I thought there was pretty good defense on their part. Um, but defense travels, um, so we grinded it out. We always talk about embracing the grind, and I thought our guys did a pretty good job of that tonight. That was especially crucial down the stretch. You know, it was, it, it was a back and forth game. Nobody, Absolutely. I mean, for, I think we were stuck on 44. It felt like forever. Um, <laughs> and, and then it's back and forth, and you were able to get that little spurt and, and hold Hopkins scoreless there for a little stretch. You know, was it just individual stepping up, or is that more of a team team defense there at the end where everybody's just trying to, to buckle down? It was, it was a collective effort. We have some defensive leaders on our team that are just. Um, Awesome defensive players. We're lucky enough to have last year's NUMAC Defensive Player of the Year with us standing right here, AJ Yurko. We have Nacho Nuana who came in and gave us some, give us, to give us some good minutes late in the game, uh, who's the, the current Defensive Player of the Year. So, um, but I thought it was a collective effort with those guys leading us in, in, in that regard. Um, so if you try to do it by yourself, it won't happen. Uh, sometimes when they were driving, we had one of our um, big guys um, uh, come over and make a block. Um, so it was a total team effort. AJ, what were you seeing down the stretch there? It's going back and forth. It's a small environment in there, but it was loud. And, and you know, what were you trying to do as the leader of the team? Yeah, I mean, great atmosphere. Lots of people came out to this game. Felt great to come out with the win. Uh, but down the stretch, it really came down to defense. I mean, you saw, you said it yourself, it was stuck at 48 for a while. And if we're not scoring, we can't let them score. And that's kind of the mindset we had as a group. Every possession down the stretch, it seemed like AJ had the ball in his hands. You know, um, you know, what are you thinking there? You know, a lot of times you were letting you let the shot clock dribble down to 10, 9, 8, and then you were going. You know, what was your mindset there? Yeah, um, luckily we were up a couple points, or it was tied, so we were trying to run some clock off the off the clock, and then just try and make a play. I mean, we tried to use ball screens earlier in the game, and they played it extremely well. So we thought maybe if we go one on one, that might be a better uh, better turnout for us. Talk about what this means for your program. We talked last night that you, you know, lost in the first round and, and you got through that last night and now you're going to the Sweet 16. How does that feel as a head coach and how does that feel for your program? Well, we, this is not a, a first rodeo, but we're glad to be back here. I mean, it, it's a humbling experience to be here. Um, you know, we talk about our team. We're here tonight. We have a, a, an excellent team behind the team. Um, so we want to get this for our, our, ourselves, but we, we hope we can serve as a model to other you know programs similar to ours around the country that that um, if you work really hard um, you can you can achieve some things. Uh, we've gone through a lot of adversity uh, throughout the year, and these guys have just pulled together and found a way to just keep grinding and grinding and grinding. And um, you go to Sweet 16 sometimes as a result. Um, so that's what happened tonight. So coach has been around for 23 years. You guys get. Four I started years. when I was five. Uh <laughs> But, but you guys get four years to play, so talk about it as a player now going to the Sweet 16 because this, this is hard for, it's hard to get here and as a player you might only get there one time. Right, right. So four years only for us, but Coach has been around long enough that the culture he's created with MIT basketball, we feel like we've been here before. I mean, he says it every time before the game, this isn't our first time here. We should play like we've been here before and we definitely have, whether it's us or the team that was here four years before us, we feel like that's the culture we have at MIT and we should be here. And what did it mean to have so many MIT supporters there in the crowd tonight? It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, we had people starting chants for ourselves, uh, but that was, that was great to have that many people for us, but just as many people, definitely more for them. But it was nice to hear some MIT people out there.